Hi, I'm John. I'm John. This, this is my, is my show, show American, American Scheme, Scheme, where I'm proving that Diana, Diana Ross is Michael, Michael Jackson's, Jackson's actual mother. mother. So, Matt's FTR had made this little uh, response video I had done because I was... Uh, I, I had seen that page, the MJ Victims, but I don't... I'm not interested in really speaking to those people. I don't study that stuff, like, obsessively. You and know, yet you want to debate with him. And pedophile stuff just because it intertwines with other things that I do. But I don't obsessively study that stuff, okay? But so I came across the one uh, MJ Victims. He had a video. And see, he had done it. It was like two weeks ago. I, I don't pay any attention to it. But I saw it. He was doing a review on the Danny Wu. And so I was like, okay, well, let me... I like to give people a fair chance and actually hear their opinion, and then I will judge them based upon their opinions of things. So I thought, okay, well, this would be a good uh, a good way to uh, – because actually what was happening, there's a new page come out. I, I don't remember the guy's name. It was something Blaze. The, this guy has a, um, a podcast. I turned down the volume on John's video so that I could reply to him without pausing it because I want to make this quick. Uh, but so far, the reason why you don't you don't research Mike is because you're too busy with your Diana Ross bullshit. He's doing his YouTube page, and he was saying when he gets a thousand subscribers, and then he's going to go live and do stuff like that. And I saw that MJ Victims guy yelling at that guy, saying he wanted to debate him. Okay, but so the the Blaze guy was talking about uh, he wants to, he just wants to stir up conversation based around the Leaving Neverland, the Michael Jackson, because he knows that that's a big topic. People people talk about it. He wants to get a show. It's kind of like that Thon Thon Lexi guy. Um, Thong? He's there's nothing to his show. All he's talking about giving people something to try and give them something to talk about, but it all there's it brings nothing to adds nothing to any of the conversation. So this plays guy, I was like, oh, this guy's just gonna be like a Thon Lexi. He's gonna be a little bit different version of it, maybe a little bit more professional style, you know. But so I saw that MJ Victims guy going and kind of get in with him, and and he had said to him, I'll debate you, I'll debate you. So I was like, oh, okay, well, shoot. It's like, well, why debate him? You know, that guy doesn't have any. There's nothing there. So I. I went after then the MJ victims guy saying, well, I'll debate you. Okay. And, uh, I clearly understand and I'll give him the credit that he appears to me to be a form of an expert on the Michael Jackson pedophile allegation stuff, all of that stuff. Okay. I'll, and this is why I would want to speak with him because I would say right out on that stuff. Yeah. He's going to have more information. If you want to talk about the pedophile allegations, he's going to be an expert. Well, well the stuff I talk about, I'm going to have more detailed knowledge of specific dates because that's the stuff I actually pay attention to the, the pedophile guys. Allegations Little girl. That's just intertwined. So I don't need to know specific dates. There's certain specific things I don't actually need to know. Where he would have that information. It's like, okay, well, and then I could ask him, okay, well, do you have this? Tell me exactly what you have. And so that's why I would be interested in speaking to somebody like that. If they, if they I watched his uh, review of uh, Danny Wu. And oh, you were talking? Really Sorry, fair. I was just playing he, your best video really ever. Say, okay, look at what you're doing. He would look at the Danny Wu saying, saying, is that fair what you're doing? I thought, well, that's fair. What he's really doing is just asking upon everything. Is that fair? Or is that credible about what you're doing? It's like, okay, well, that's what I'm looking for somebody to do is to critique my work in that kind of fashion. Look at the dates. Say, are these actual dates? Do these align with the uh, allegations of when the, in the uh, things that I'm saying it leads to? Do they match up and stuff? Do I then have the actual facts and evidence then to back up when I'm making the, when I start making actual allegations? Then do I come back and actually prove it with the actual facts and the dates over and over, which I do. I prove it all over and over from the very beginning all the way to the end. I've got it all. But the problem is I can't get anybody to actually get in and actually see what I'm doing. And because they're first of all, they're not smart enough. And then if they are, if they do have some knowledge, they're too weak in, in who they are, like Matt's FTR. So Matt's FTR. Oh, I hear my name. One of the fundamental things I want to express about Matt's to FTR. Please. About what's fundamentally wrong with the person he is. Okay. Matt's FTR is a person that nothing is real in the world, in the universe. Nothing. Nothing is absolutely Nothing's real. real until okay. he acknowledges that it's real. Okay. Until he acknowledges Deflecting. it's real. 
then then it's real. Okay, but if it's, yeah, does, he doesn't matter. Yeah. He doesn't care about any of the things. All of the things that everybody's going on in the world. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of things. He has no appreciation or consideration for any of the actual life that these people are living and going through. He just completely puts it out. Oh, I don't care. What's that? What's that? Doesn't mean nothing. Doesn't mean nothing. He I'm thinks cool. Diana Ross is the whole, whole world. world. Boom, boom, boom. Did you see me? I'm cool. I'm cool. Right? I mean, pathetic. <laughs> right? So. Wow. He never acknowledges. And then the other thing is when he does acknowledge something, he always wants then he wants the uh, he wants people to then acknowledge him like he was the first one to really acknowledge it. Like, oh, oh, OK, now I've seen it. I know it's true. Now I've acknowledged it's true. Now everybody what else are you talking about and worship me because you can worship me with my knowledge. That's like how he is. It's it's really, really pathetic people. So Projecting. I can see how these people are, the actual people they are I, from their words. You can't fake the words. You can't Who see anything. You're just projecting speak. yourself and, and saying it's other people. The way he acts and stuff. So first of all, I can see that he's flawed totally in the way he speaks. He has no clue of what Deflecting. he's talking about whatsoever. Deflecting. He doesn't care about anybody. He can't acknowledge anything until he sees it and it personally affects him. Deflecting. Then it matters, you know, so he's, just, he's really a low class level. Yeah, I talk about everything in the world, but it all personally affects person. me. He says he doesn't believe in God, so then he's a real low level spiritual person too. So you were talking about... These Spirituality and religion are not the same thing, stupid. That's who they always talk about these people on the internet, you know? It's like, okay, he's like one of those, you know, he's just a total loser, has nothing in his life, there's nothing, he's not bringing anything to this conversation, and he's yelling just at Just because I won't talk about Diana Ross. he has nothing to bring to the conversation. Yeah, so, I'm the one yelling. He, I've been saying right off the bat I could spot that he's the total fraud, right off the bat. Then once I start to talk about Michael Jackson, then I could spot, boy, not only are you a fraud as a human, you're a total fraud as a Michael Jackson. Okay, I have I to pause this clip. shit. It's so funny because, okay, so I just played this video he made He made about Krista over top of this video because it's really funny. This video about Krista here is the video where he's yelling the most, so I think it's really funny. But it's ironic because I played it during the part where where he thinks that I think, you know, my words are everything and only what I talk about matters, all that kind of stuff. And right when I played his video, he had literally just said, you need to be, you need to be paying attention to the words of me. That's literally what he said in this video to Krista. Okay. Well, anyway, let's let's continue mocking him. And that's what I've been saying right off of the bat that I was telling you. This guy's a fraud. He's a fake Michael Jackson fan. Projecting. I can spot it clearly. Projecting. It's super really easy to see. And then when you want to get even deeper now, if I want to actually analyze him, if you watch the way his you can't. mannerisms are, the way he talks and stuff like that, there's something about Matt that he's either been either there's sexually something. abused or <laughs> Matt actually has sexual fantasies, either homosexual fantasies or he's got pedophile sexual fantasies. But he doesn't actually on those fantasies and that's why he gets so mad at all these other people but there's something about him that being around the presence of these other people that are doing it it gives him something there, and that's why he's in the presence of those because he talks about all these homosexual people like when you see the videos that he makes on his page and all the people he talks about it's like those people I've never heard about them and I'm not even aware of any of these things he's an expert he's an expert in that thing it's like well if you're an expert in that field you must spend a lot of time in that field and then if you spend a lot of time in that field, you must have a lot of thoughts forming in your head about those types of things, which means you must be constantly having idiot. thoughts about kids being sexually abused. It's like, dude, if you're constantly having when thoughts did I talk about, about kids being sexual sexually sexual abuse abused in the Mike Parr video, you gotta ask yourself, are you enjoying that, Matt? Are you actually getting enjoyment out of it? Because I, I'm not going to go do what you do. That stuff of where you go, those people that you're arguing with and stuff. Okay, this really was a bad video for me to choose where I just kind of talk over him instead of pausing and reacting because there's actually more to react to here than there has been in the past. But at, at this point, I think everybody knows that everything he's saying is wrong. So like, there's not really a point in pointing it out because you already know anyway. So it's just for laughs at this point. Like, <laughs> he's projecting all of his personality traits on me. I have never even heard of those people because why do I want to spend time what with people? kids being molested? Now, it's obvious. You see it, if you see it right next to you, you do something about it, obviously. But what you're doing, it's like you're just participating in that. You're not protecting any kids. You're sure as hell not doing anything to protect anybody. So 
the thing I'm about you doing can anything watch to Matt protect here. anybody. You see in the way he speaks in the last part thing, there's a sign, there's a thing there. It's like, huh, there's something about him. And he's even saying it, but he won't say it and stuff. But as I can he's see, saying it's it, but he going won't on. say it. And instead of him and, and admitting to whatever it is that is actually going on, that's why you see so much hatred in, in him, where he talks about he doesn't believe in God, he hates everybody. I'm the one who has you know, hatred. It's all because of these things that's wrapped up in this, actually, that there's something where he's either. Either he has homosexual fantasies in his head, or he has actually maybe even pe uh, fantasies of being a pedophile and acting oh, out sexually on God. children. He could even have those fantasies, because I don't understand how he spends so much time. This coming from the man who, number one, mentions 12-year-old girls all the time, and calls other people 12-year-old girls, and dedicated his entire channel to a concept about pedophilia and incest but okay john around these pedophile people if he's not having those type of fantasies and stuff so like i said i, I already know this stuff when i see these people that this is what's going to occur this is who they are but then what happens is he's got so many videos and stuff so i'm not going to go search i'm not trying to be an expert of matt's ftr right but you're not is not even close themselves. you give them a little bit of time boom they'll expose themselves and they'll show you the real information of where it is so listen to this Yes, you, so, and you've done a good I job. I oh. said to uh, Mike, Hi Mike, it's Matt's FTR. Remember our history? Anyway, I'm just messaging you because I wanted to tell you that I watched the documentary, and even though I don't fully agree with it, I also don't fully dismiss it. There's inconsistencies in it, but I can also tell you that Wade's emotions shown in, in it are real. That right there, okay. For him to identify with Wade's... Is Wade Robson's emotion, but I can tell you that Wade, and he's speaking to the MJ victims, guys, we're in this video here, he started off by saying that, like, the MJ's victims page was called, like, Wade Robson allies and stuff, so we're yeah. talking about, this is the guy he's actually talking to here now, and he was saying that he was ranting on him all this time, there was all this stuff that they were having this big rant argument, right? Matt's saying, and then the Leaving Neverland comes out, and Matt, like, not only does he fold he starts to apologize to the guy and now Matt's like joining up oh my god being neutral and looking at both sides and apologizing for calling Mike an idiot about 500 times man being an adult makes me a bad person obviously John wouldn't get that because he's a, he's a 47 year old in the 47 month old body and brain that Wade Robson's emotions are real okay Anybody like that anybody that I've ever seen anything in the way I look at it, it's like what do you mean his emotions are real they were completely flat and they were like robotic it looked like to me that he was under uh, hypnosis that those emotions had come from a form of where he generated those thoughts because I didn't say it to Mike but I did say it in my leaving Neverland debunking video that I was referring to Wade in the last half hour of the documentary when he started crying that's what I was referring to not the whole thing. I'm not going to get mad at John for that mistake because I didn't point it out in my message to Mike. But I did say it in my debunking video, so if John had seen that, he would have known. But he probably still wouldn't have acknowledged it, even if he did. He had been trained under hypnosis to start looking that way. That's the way it appeared to be to me. But no part of what... Uh, Wade Robson's emotions, none of that ever looked genuine, okay? So that's like first part right off of the Leaving Neverland. No way am I ever going to be saying, considering that's the first, like, that's the first, in, the very, very first basic thing is that everybody is like, oh, well, Wade Robson's emotions are totally wrong. But look at what he's doing. He's aligning himself. Oh, well, Wade, well, I can tell you. So when he's saying Wade Robson's emotions, you know, and then he's, he's calling Michael a pedophile, if he's going to say that stuff, I mean, he's really, and then he must have been victimized. I'm calling There's Michael a pedophile because I noticed like this, like that Wade cried. In this area, this is the stuff that he's really interested in. So something, there's something about him. It's like, you might as well confess because people. Yes, John, I'm so interested in it. That's why I haven't talked about it in five years. That's a person who's very interested. People are never going to really understand who you are unless you confess who you actually are. What victim are you or what is it about you that leads you into this kind of stuff, Matt? You there's actually sound like Mike right you now. Have an interest or there's something about you. No, I faked. Right now I feel I'm kind of fighting with myself because I'm kind of lost and confused. <laughs> I think, no, if MJ is guilty because the documentary didn't really show evidence, 
However, I will say that we may we never we may never fully know. Okay, that's another statement too. Only idiots ever would make that statement. We may never fully know. That is a only idiots focus on proof and facts and evidence, right? My, right? Uh, I was gonna call you Mike because you're acting like him, but right, John. Only evidence are neutral. You know, in order to be smart, you must say that something that is unproven is a fact. Obviously, that's uh, completely wrong, but that's what John believes. John genuinely believes that something unproven is a fact and something neutral where you're, you know, using common sense and logic and looking at both sides and weighing the argument. He thinks that's wrong because he, th he literally thinks I'm wrong by saying to Mike, I'm going to weigh both sides of the arguments. And you know this about John because his entire Diana Ross conspiracy is based on his own opinions that are unproven, and he's calling it a fact. So his mentality is like across the board. <laughs> Stupid person statement because every freaking person uh, that's really intelligent, they would never, there's nothing ever that they would say I would never fully know. The, no, no, they'd say, no, I'm going after that, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to dig, I'm going to find the information, and they say, I have a good grasp on a good You can't know on, unless you were in the dig, room with Michael. Get, you don't ever say, oh, well, we made, that's giving up. He gave up. No, it isn't. You threw your hands up. <laughs> I give up. I give up. That's what they do. Those are pathetic losers. No, it isn't, stupid. No, it isn't, you stupid moron. It's just saying that it's literally unprovable unless you are in the unless you are actually in the room watching or not watching Michael Molest Jordan or Gavin or Wade or James. Unless you are in the room, you cannot ever say 100% that Michael is 100% innocent or guilty. It is impossible. Based on existing evidence, you can obviously go one way or another and say like, oh, I know I'm 80% sure or I'm 90% sure, even 99% even sure that he's innocent or guilty. But to say 100 is impossible. You cannot say 100% certainty unless you are in the room or you literally are Gavin Jordan James or Wade, and of course they were telling the truth, and you can prove it that they were telling the truth. Uh, yeah, unless you do that, it's impossible. And for you to say that it actually is possible to prove 100%, that makes you stupid because you literally cannot disprove a negative. Stupid. As the people of who they are, and that's what I'm telling you, anytime you ever hear somebody make that statement, they have given up on society, they've given up on everything. Who they I've given up on society. Well, that's completely true because society is fucking worthless. Although I'm not sure how you can relate society as a whole to just this Mike Parr, Wade Robson thing. But okay. Um, another thing that I've given up on, John, is trying to understand your defective brain. Well, that's not exactly true. I do understand your brain, but I guess you could see I've given up on trying to fix it. They're, they're nothing. That's why when I call these people losers, it's like I don't mean to demean them. Personally, yes, you do. What I'm saying is, who they are in society is fundamentally, look, fundamentally looked upon as a loser. He's a loser, and it's like that doesn't. Every mean Michael Jackson fan guy, in the world, you know, it doesn't necessarily. I'm not trying to label somebody and say that your life's over. You can't become better. That you can't be. You can't. Doesn't mean that you won't ever do anything. John, in your opinion, the only way to be better is to agree with you on this Diana Ross thing. You believe that the Diana Ross thing is the be-all, end-all of the entire world, the universe, the galaxy, the fucking solar system, every dimension. That's all the world is to you, John, is just Diana Ross. That's it. If they disagree, if a person disagrees with you, all of a sudden the liar, fake, fraud, loser, loner, every every insult in the world, but if they agree with you, then they're the world's smartest person. That's all it is to you. The make or break for the for the war universe to you is just Diana Ross. Because <laughs> you're crazy. ...that's ever uh, substantial in your life when I call people a loser. Like, this loser could be walking down the road tomorrow, a car could crash and flip over, and he goes and drags the person out of the car and drags a couple kids out of the car. He could be a hero, okay? What? So when I talk about people <laughs> like losers, I'm not demeaning you as, like, you're totally invalid in the world and unjustified as nothing, because you could be the stupid loser that saves the people's life from coming out of the car, okay? That's the way the world works. So I speak about losers that way. 
it's just like not the way that this loser would think about how I'm speaking to him as a loser, okay? Uh, because he is a real loser. He doesn't understand how, why, how I'm labeling him as a loser. So let's let this loser finish off him just to totally destroy himself here. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. I also want to apologize to you for the way I spoke to you oh in my, all those videos uh, back in 2013-2014. Oh my god. I don't, and I apologize that I don't hate Mike anymore. I think he's an idiot and a fraud. <laughs> like, whatever, right? I think to an extent he really does care about real victims. He kind of want to give him a kiss, how does he? He wants to give him a hug, give him a kiss, huh? I have no plans on deleting them, <laughs> primarily because they're a part of history on my page. I am considering it. Anyway, yeah, take care. So... Oh, just so you know, I never deleted any of my videos, and Mike never responded. So even oh, that's enough then. So um, <coughs> so <laughs> so now, <laughs> was that idiot. Matt's FTR ever a Michael Jackson fan? Like, can I keep saying to him? The reason I'm actually having this interaction with him right now is because it says on his page, because Michael Jackson advocate. And it's like, that is such a freaking false representation of who you are and what your page is all about. And I'm saying, it's in, you insult me and every single real Michael Jackson fan out there. And I just ask you kindly, because you say you don't want to speak about Michael Jackson anymore. And I clearly am showing that you are not a form of a Michael Jackson advocate, because I come here trying to speak about Michael Jackson, and you're not even capable of even having a Michael Jackson conversation. How no. can you be any form of an no. advocate? No, you want to have a dialogue. Anna Ross conversation. The main, one of the main people out here totally accusing Michael Jackson of being a pedophile. His whole page is dedicated to destroying Michael Jackson. Not only destroying Michael, promoting Wade and their whole thing. And you're sitting there apologizing to him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus, okay? So, Matt, clearly, we have now, have I proven to you that you're a fraud? You don't belong in here as any form of a Michael Jackson advocate. Oh, my God. I just God. ask you kindly, remove that from your page, and oh I will be done with you, and God. we will go our separate ways, all right? There you go. Bye, Matt. Oh, my God. What a dumb. <laughs> that was fantastic. What a stupid, stupid man. But, um,. Maybe he would feel better if I put my banner as former MJ advocate because that that would actually be more accurate. Um, but I don't know how to change the banner mainly because I didn't actually make it. Alex Blanco made it for me like seven years ago, seven or eight years ago, something like that. So um, I don't know how to fix the banner. So that's why it just it just says MJ advocate and not former MJ advocate. But even so, who cares? Even though I haven't advocated for him in like five years. It, not counting leaving leaving Neverland because obviously there I did advocate for him, I debunked the whole documentary. Um, if you ignore that, it's been five or six years, but it doesn't change anything because the my the videos where I was advocating are still on my page. They're still a hundred percent true and use facts. They are still advocating videos. I still believe in every word I said. So just because I don't advocate anymore doesn't mean I'm not an advocate, like, you know, overall. And if I ever have a conversation with somebody today, whether if it's on YouTube or even in real life, I'm still going to say things that are, you know, of advocacy. I will talk about how he's innocent and prove such and all that kind of thing. So anyway, uh, John is a very stupid individual. <laughs>